Hey there, it's Sunny D. Happy Friday. <laughs> we made it to the weekend. Woohoo! <laughs> I love Fridays because I have the next two days where I can just take it easy and relax. I hope that you've had a great week and that you have some good plans for the weekend. I'm going to be sharing a devotional with you by Proverbs 31. Surprise, surprise. I love them. They always have great devotionals. This one says, as I study David's words, many of them are recorded in the Psalms, I notice that time after time, he refuses to let the prospect of what he doesn't know steal the promise of what he does know. When life feels uncertain or unfair, David doesn't sink in frustration or surrender to fear. Instead, he shifts his focus. In Psalm 27, we find David head to head with hardship, but instead of questioning the things he doesn't understand, he declares the truth on which he stands. David may not know how to escape the darkness of his enemies, but he knows the Lord is his light. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? He may not know if he's strong enough to defeat his attackers, but he knows God is the stronghold of his life. The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? He may not know when the trouble will end, but he knows where he'll hide in the midst of it. For in the day of trouble, he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. He may not know if he'll taste victory, but he knows that he'll see God's goodness. I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. This is the secret to walking in confidence, dear friends. We lift our heads in hope instead of lying down in fear. We shift our gaze from staring at what we don't know to declaring who we do. Because we may not know everything, but we do know something. God is good. God is faithful and God is with us. And as we trust in him on our journey, we find surety of our steps. I love that. So, I mean, let me tell you something. David is amazing the way that he does hold on to that hope and he has that confidence in knowing who God is. You know, when things look so bad for him, he's able to just, you know, look at the Lord and know that he will get him through and that he is good and that, you know, he is a loving, loving father. And David is a great example of what it's like to have faith in the Lord. I love Psalms. It's actually my favorite and favorite book in the Bible. And I'll tell you what, I was when it was about a year ago to this date when coronavirus started, you know, really becoming prevalent and things started shutting down and we went into, you know, um, the lockdown and the quarantine and I really struggled, you know, and I think I've shared with you before that I kind of like struggled worse because I'm like, how am I allowing this pandemic, this virus to frighten me the way that it is? But it did. It had a grip on me. And during that quarantine, I wound up really getting into the Bible and I decided to go into Psalms and I started reading it. And I've read Psalms many, many times before. But for some reason, it was I was seeing it through fresh eyes and it was like really speaking directly to what I was going through. And it made such a difference in my life. And I realized that, you know, that fear that I was having just brought me closer to the Lord. And it was pretty amazing, pretty remarkable. I can tell you that. So um, if you haven't read Psalms or you haven't read it in a while, I would encourage you to get in there and just read all about David and what he went through. And, uh, you know, he really does encourage me to have that confidence in the Lord. So I hope that that spoke to you a little bit tonight. I am wishing you a blessed night. I'll be back tomorrow. And please don't forget, love God and love others.